Hello, Cece. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could just have a full conversation in Tagalog. Let's start by uh, you, uh, with you introducing yourself All to right. GAPA. So my name is Cece Asuncion. I am the owner and director of Slay Model Management, which is the world's first trans exclusive model agency. I created Slay Model Management because there was a space necessary for it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even gonna make it any deeper than it actually is. When I started to meet a lot of trans people, yeah. I grew up with the supermodels, I'm 44. <laughs> I mean, like, I just remembered physically, I'm like, all right, a lot of them have a lot of the same features. They have long necks, they have high cheekbones, the jawlines. And I met Aris Swanzer, who was the first model that I signed. I follow her and I love her. <laughs> oh my God, I, I adore her. Like again, she and I text every day. Yeah. I still represent her six years into the game. And she's my ground zero. What it was like for the trans community that you represent and you were a big advocate for during uh, the Trump era. And okay. what we are really hoping that Biden will help us change knowing that he's the new president. When, when Slay started, we were under the Obama administration. Yeah. Um, and it was great, but we did a lot of trans 101 by way of strut. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Trump administration came and then I think the word that comes to mind is fatigued. Yeah. And it was really just walking uphill with an oil slick. Yeah. Um, I think we all felt it. Mm -hmm. um, but really, this is how I see it. And this is how I see this town, right? There are drag queens, there are trans models, there are trans actors. If we all just got together and stopped yeah. seeing each other as fucking competition. Exactly. We would make strides much quicker. The lay of the land is changing and all of that. Yeah. Now, that's what I'm excited for with the Biden-Harris administration. I think that's, that's, that's what's really important is that racism and people who have judgments towards our community have always been around along with trans people, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think that is one of the best and worst things that Donald Trump has done. He has put faces towards these people. Yes. And now we know, you yes. know what I mean? We know. Yeah. So, we have to come from a place of there's always something good that comes from the worst things. What do you see or what are your um, trans uh, clients? Uh, how do they feel about uh, not or about drag in, 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 and trans not being inclusive? You know, I think it, it, I think the term transgender, the umbrella term transgender kind of fucked everyone up before. Mm -hmm. Because under that umbrella of trans, there's transsexual, there's drag, there's cross-dressers, mm -hmm. which really kind of muddled the water when it comes to the community at large. Yeah. So people couldn't even tell the difference. And when Slay started, I had a lot of trans 101 that I had to do because I had to go and explain to casting directors. Mind you, this was 2016. This wasn't so far ago. The good thing I think is a lot of us community members have done Trans 101 and really laid down the groundwork, right? Mm -hmm. It was kind of like first period, like, all right, we did Trans 101 <laughs> and now we're getting close to recess. <laughs> it's like, oh my yeah. God, we have some fun now. I wanna talk about uh, Slay and the trans community in fashion. Okay. And Arise, for example, has been breaking grounds yeah. let's talk about that i think you know that's the thing i think people are, are slowly but surely figuring it out right don't hire trans people because it's on trend or it's a zeitgeist thing do it because you really believe in it you know but <laughs> yes. what i always will do is i will always stand by my models um every job whether when they book it i always ask them are you comfortable doing this do you want to yeah. do this? Congratulations, though. I feel like it's it's a home that people would want to belong, and and that alone says a lot. And you representing them and you finding gigs for everybody, that already is a good representation. 
you know, thank you for that. It, it's everybody does their part, right? It, it mm -hmm. was, I think for the longest time, that was what I wanted people to know that it's a not, this isn't a nonprofit organization. Talk to me about how you first heard about GAPA and how you're excited to work with GAPA and our org moving forward. You know, I'm, I'm always here. It's like, I, I would love to judge. I would love to see what talent is out there. I am excited with working with GAPA because what you've done for years and years, mm -hmm. it, it's a legacy. Yeah. And I respect that. You know what I mean? I just came along like I'm, I'm like a few years ago, right? And I want to use the privilege or, or that what I've done again to like why not why not partner up to further the cause? And it's really about relationship building and really us again as a community. We have to get this shit together. And to support each other for the most part. Yes. Yeah, we have to support each other because if you don't do that, it's hard enough mm -hmm. as it is. Yes. It is tough enough as it is to do it alone. And we have to band together, support yes. one another, push each other to be better. Yes. Um, and really be kind, you know? It, it's, That's true. I like that. I, I, just going back to your initial statement, it's, it's not worth being nice. It's more substantial being kind. Yeah. Now, um, I want to ask what's next. What's next for Slay? Where would we, uh, uh, where can the GAPA community uh, follow you and follow your um, Slay models? You know, it, it's really easy. Uh, in, in, on Instagram, it's at Slay Models LA. And um, my personal one is at Yet Asuncion. And there's so much really with, with, with Slay. Um, Slay Model Search 2020 is coming out on here TV and all the platforms in December. And I would love to be more, you know, part of GAPA. I, I, I would. <laughs> well, thank you again for being part of our uh, GAPA Immortal uh, showcase you. this year. So and I'm very, very excited to hear more about uh, Slay Models and what's next for uh, you and you have a lot to announce before the 21st of this month. So I'm looking yeah. forward to that as well. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jezebel. I, I'm so happy you're here. I didn't even know. Uh, thank you, Jezebel. Thank you very much. Text me. See All you right, soon. Bye.